Hi viewers, how are you all? Today in this video, let us see how to prepare our authentic Indian tiffin item, Rava Idli. It is very much like any other normal rice idli, but there is no need to soak or grind any item. Comparatively, a very easy to do item. It goes very well with any chutney or tiffin sambar. In the description column below this video, I have given the quantity of the ingredients and the method of preparation in English. You can always refer it. The ingredients which I have used are curd, rava, cashew nuts, salt, baking soda, coriander leaves and green chilli. For the seasoning I have used mustard seeds, urur dal and channa dal which I have fried in ghee. Using ghee enhances the taste of the idlis. First take a broad vessel and add the rava. For one cup of rava we need two cups of fresh curd. Now I am adding one cup of curd first. Now I am going to add the second cup of curd. It should not be watery. The curd should be fresh and thick curd. Then add 1 teaspoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of baking soda. Now start mixing everything together with a ladle. Do not add water. Now all the ingredients have been mixed well. Leave it aside for at least 2 hours before the preparation. Heat 1 teaspoon of ghee in a kadai. Add the mustard seeds, allow it to splutter. Then add the urur dal and channa dal and fry. Add the seasoning to the mixed batter. Again add 1 teaspoon of ghee to the same kadai. Add the broken cashews to it and fry till it turns golden brown in color. Now cut the green chilli into small pieces and add it to the batter. Beat the batter well and if it is too thick and only if you need we have to add water. Otherwise don't add water. Even if you are adding water add very little. Now the batter is ready. Do not add the cashews to the batter. Now get the idli pot ready for cooking. Apply oil generously on the plate. Add required water in the bottom vessel. Then keep the grease plate on it and add all the fried cashew nuts to the plate. Then add the finely cut coriander leaves to the plate like this. After adding the cashews and the coriander leaves, start adding the batter like this into the plate. I can make 6 idlis at a time. After pouring into each shallow space, close the vessel with the lid. Allow it to cook for 5 minutes. Then remove the plate, allow it to cool for 1 minute and slowly remove the idlis using a greased spoon like this. Remove one idli at a time. Now the delicious rava idli is ready to be served. See how fast you have learned how to make this yummy rava idlis. I should not say yummy. You should say yummy, yummy, yummy after preparing it. If you like my videos, don't forget to comment, subscribe and share.